The Georgia Tech Research Institute recently teamed up with Fort Benning's Maneuver Battle Lab as they took to the skies to test the latest and greatest in unmanned aerial vehicles. The ones they're looking at here are all air robots. Specifically, the challenge is to have the air robots fly autonomously in that you just load a flight plan. You don't have to necessarily have a controller controlling the aircraft. This automation technology allows these aircrafts to not only fly on their own, but allow them to talk to one another as multiple aircrafts are sent up to deal with a variety of scenarios. Another experiment that we're investigating is uh, having the vehicles negotiate with each other to perform task assignments. So if we give them a series of waypoints that need to be visited to perform a sensor reading, then the vehicles would negotiate with each other to figure out which one makes the most sense to visit each waypoint. As the Army researches these vehicles, they may look simple, but it's what's inside that matters. GTRA has performed significant fabrication and additions to the, to the basic airframe. We've added an off-the-shelf autopilot. We've built an autonomous mission payload, which essentially is a, is a computer which runs our autonomous behaviors and algorithms. We've added uh, multiple sensors and cameras. All the things that would allow the Army to harness its abilities to give soldiers an advantage in downrange reconnaissance. It's been a long time since uh, the United States Army has really had to look up because of normally we have air superiority wherever we go, but certainly at the tactical level, we can no longer make the assumption that all unmanned aerial systems are, are friendly. As technology develops worldwide, the United States Army continues to be in the forefront, working with partners to achieve learning outcomes and enhance combat developments. Melissa Bell, Fort Benning TV.